Hello traders, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to trade with candlestick psychology. Let's start now. This is Euro NJD pair. The trend is a downtrend here, and the minor trend also a downtrend. Okay, a strong momentum. So we can't go against the momentum. So better to follow the momentum. Okay, I placed here a lower option because I am seeing a momentum, a strong momentum. So it's not good to go against the momentum. And the previous candle has a strong rejection above, a strong selling pressure. It means again the market may make a bearish candle here. And the buyers are here. There is a gap too. So we are seeing rejection from this point means on the next candlestick the buyers may enter from this point. Okay. So I placed here a higher option because this is a buyers area. I saw some strong rejections in this candlestick from this level. It means the buyers may enter in one candlestick because we can expect a retracement candlestick here because of this level. Because from this point we are seeing a strong buyer entry again a strong rejection and buyer entry. So the market may respect this level at least for one candlestick. Okay, I'm going to place a higher option again. Okay, I placed here a higher option because I am seeing a bullish candle with new high. Again, it closed at this buyer's area again. It means the market wants to reverse here because of this new high. We can expect a buyer's entry. The new high is telling us the market wants to go up. A strong buying pressure in the market from this buyer's area. That's why I placed here a higher option. Okay, I'm going to place a higher option again. Okay, I placed here a higher option because the market wants to reverse from this point. Because I saw a new high, again a bullish candle with strong buying pressure. It means the market wants to reverse from this point. That's why I placed here a higher option. Okay. So we can expect a momentum again from this point because the market got support from this point. So we can expect a bullish momentum because almost every time we are seeing a momentum continuously. It means again the buyers will try to make a bullish momentum here also. Okay. So this is my first trade because of this continuation sign, because of this strong bearish momentum, and this is my second trade because of this buyers. I saw some strong rejections in this candle from buyers. That's why I placed here a higher option, and this is my third trade because of this new high in the market from this buyers area. It means buyers are very strong in the market. That's why I placed here a higher option again, and I placed a higher option here because again I saw a bullish candle with buying pressure. It means the market wants to reverse from this point. We are seeing new highs and a buyer's area, a buying pressure means the market wants to go up from this point. 
so we can't expect a market reversal from this point because the market wants to reverse from this point only so always observe market movement and market rejections and everything then you can easily predict the market stick and if you observe we are seeing a retracement candlestick here also a retracement candlestick so the market may make a retracement candlestick at any time but it doesn't mean the market will reverse it means the market took some time some gap in the uptrend if you see any retracement that is only for temporary reversal again you can expect a buyer's entry continuously so don't think if you see any retracement candlestick don't think the market will reverse again try to follow the momentum okay thank you for watching my video you can see a momentum here thank you for watching my video if you like my video like share and subscribe